Howdy everybody, I'm Sam Feifel. I'm the editor of Workboat.com. I'm here on the show floor at the International Workboat Show 2012 with Neil Bennett. Neil, how are you doing today? Very good, thank you. Now Neil, uh, you know, technology is something that's sort of coming more and more to our show. We're mm -hmm. seeing, you know, more 3D. We're seeing uh, more technology seemingly every year. Uh, you guys have some uh, cool simulation software that I've been checking out. Yes, uh, indeed. What's, what's new at the show for you? Well, for us, one of the uh, most interesting new things is our uh, dynamic positioning uh, offshore simulation, which is a particular section of our training simulator, Navitrainer Professional 5000. So the application for the companies and the training schools that are here is uh, dynamic positioning training for a basic advanced and sea time reduction. Uh, which is in big demand, of course, in the industry. Sure. And uh, some special applications. Uh, here, one of my colleagues is uh, taking part in an exercise for anchor handling. Gotcha. So, you know, I think people, when they hear simulation, they think, you know, well, it can't be just like the real thing. What do you guys do to make sure it's as much like the real thing as possible? Well, um, it needs to be, first of all, physically correct, well modeled. Uh, which is one of really the key factors for the anchor handling. A lot of time and effort has gone into making that correct so that the operators get the right feel of the winches, the controls that they're using, and the actual physical attributes of the uh, equipment. Sure. I think the second thing is in maritime, there's a lot of visual cues. So the visualization has to be realistic and you've got to be able to put people in hopefully the type of situations that are realistic, but also some of the ones that they might not get to uh, experience frequently. Or maybe we hope life. they don't experience. <laughs> well, hope that they don't. So it's always better to do it in the simulator first. Sure. Now, I'm sure that you're you know, constantly kind of in communication with the maritime schools. You know, we're hearing yep. that you know, they need more trained workers, you know, all the, whether it's the shipyards or the operators, everybody needs better trained workers. You know, what's your sort of feedback loop with them and how do you make sure that, you know, you're kind of developing software yeah. or, you know, systems that are actually needed? Yeah, well, we try to work very closely with the maritime schools. Uh, we have a fairly big customer base here and it's really an ongoing process with them of, uh, getting together, talking about what their needs are, and, and they're always very quick to get to us with uh, the demands of their customers being the operators and, uh, and, and people in the maritime industry. So we, we try to have things where we have a, a user conference. We're having one this summer, bringing everybody together, mm -hmm. share ideas between the, the maritime schools and, and directly with our team of developers as well and product managers. Well, great. Well, Neil, I'm sure you'll keep us posted on new developments going Thank you forward. Thank very much. Thanks for being here at the show. And if you're interested, we have the chair ready. You can do a little <laughs> anchor handling. I'm kind of scared of that, but I'll <laughs> give it a try. All right. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time at workboat.com.